In the last episode of Mass Marine Medivac Durgan Master, we played drops only. We had some amazing Doom drops. And with those drops, we managed to get 4468 MMR. Since this is the NA server, we are only 400 MMR away from Grandmaster. Let's begin. First game is going to be against a Terran. All right. So, so far, we played without gas. What else did we do? We played without gas. We played without Medivac. And then we did drops only. For this episode... I think I want to try win with as many marines as possible, so I'm definitely going to be doing some drops and stuff, but I'm going to try to not finish the game relying on drops. I'm going to try to get ahead with drops and then try to win the game with like a million marines. And I've had the dream since I began uh, this show to win a TVT in particular with 200 marines, because what happens in TVT, people typically play marine tank. Tanks shred marines, so it's really good. But there's always one opportunity, which is if tanks are on siege, you can stimulate the marines and you can destroy them in a big fight. Now, if I completely skip tanks, I could probably have 40 more marines than my opponent, or more if I go really insane. And that way, maybe I could get the surround of the ages, and that's really what I want to gun for here. Now, obviously, it depends on what he's going to do. He might, uh, you know, cheese me or something. It's Maybe he'll play mech, and then we're definitely going to have a hard time winning a big fight. But we're going to try and see. Now, upgrades are going to be important from this. The early game is going to be important as well. I cannot really allow myself to get behind early on because then it's going to be tough to defend. Uh, scouting is important here. I, that's the one thing that's a bit sketch is Marines are not the best unit to defend with early game. You rather want to have Reapers and Hellions. And I'm not going to be allowed to make those. Um, so I'm going to SCV scout here just hoping that I find what's up. I'm actually just going to save this SCV. Do not want to lose it. And then I'm going to open with a Marine first. Which is a bit crazy, but, you know, there's no other option. So he's... Wait, that's a... Is that a gasless expand? He's just playing a gasless expand, I think. Okay, well, that is even crazier than my build. All right, then, well, now I suddenly don't have that much to worry about anymore, which is great. Actually, this is really weird he's following me because I would lose this SCV for free. But now he's actually losing mining time for it, so it's, it's not even that bad uh, for me anymore. I'm not sure why he's giving up all that mining time there. Uh, but I'm gonna be, uh, you know, happy that he's doing it. I'm gonna bring my Marine back. And I guess I should probably go for some kind of a 2 on one here. Try to get uh, an early drop in at least, you know, get map control. That is the best thing about a 2 on one You will have full map control. And then after that, I can try to go for my mass Marines. I might even sacrifice my SCVs. So I can really get, like... I don't know. I, I don't know what's realistic, to be honest. Like, I would love to get 100 Marines at least. Like, my opponent is already 4.7k, guys. He's pretty high up in the Master League. Um, like I said, this is the NA server, so the MRs are a little bit different from the EU server here. Grandmaster starts at, like, 4.9k instead of, like, 5.3. So this guy is pretty high up in Master League. Um, and I'm not sure how, you know, how much I can get away with, really. So we're just gonna have to see. I would love to get at least 100 Marines. If I see an opportunity, I'll go even more crazy. Ideally, I get like 150. I, I think it's going to be super, super hard to win the game with that. But I think if I could win with 150 Marines this high up in MMR, I, I would be freaking happy. I would, you know, you guys would definitely see it. You know, maybe I'll put it in the title or something. I'd be, I'd be very excited about it. Uh, let's not get too happy yet, though. I feel like I've had a bunch of times where I was getting excited beforehand and then it just, you know, all went to crap. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's try to uh, make it happen first. Uh, wait, okay, yeah, I'm gonna use this SUV. I always like to get my perfect saturation, 16 out of 16, and it looks like, uh, I, you know, I messed it up a little bit, but it's, it's all good. Nothing too bad. Now, my opponent, he went for a gas expand, and I'm not quite sure what kind of a follow-up he would do from that. Like, he, he went for a double gas, so it's 100% a factory, but I would kind of expect him to go for maybe a third command center, like a fast third CC maybe. Because you can't really put any big pressure on from a gasless expand. At least I don't think so. Uh, if, if he does, maybe this guy is a legendary build uh, invented by himself that I'm going to steal. Obviously, I would give credits to uh, Mist Mr. Fear. Uh, I'm not sure if that's his real idea, but uh, I, I, would, I would definitely give him credit if I steal his build. Now, should I make a third CC? This is actually our decision here. Getting a third CC fast feels a bit crazy uh, in TVT because I don't have tanks to defend. But if I don't get it now, I'm never going to be able to get, like, a lot of marines out. So, I'm actually, I could even scan here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. it. It's crazy, but I'm going to scan. Okay, there's no Cloak Banshee. That is the thing that's really nice here. Uh, if the Cloak Banshees are super, super good against 2-1-1, because 
Yeah, this, this sounds weird maybe to some of you guys, but you can't really counter Banshees with Marines that well. Like, no one wants to use Stim to kill it, and you can you can kite Marines relatively easily um, with a Banshee. So you would either have to Stim or just sacrifice a lot of Marines to maybe, you know, be lucky your opponent messes up and you can kill them. I think there's probably something at this watchtower, but it's fine. I didn't want to go all the way around. Nothing here, actually. That's perfect. Uh, should I go into the main? Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, I should probably go into the main. There's a decent chance there's like an air army chilling here, though, or maybe like a cyclone or so. The fact that he's scanning my natural is suspicious. That means he might be tank pushing me. Uh, a turret of all things. Okay, that is not... Huh. Why is there... Okay. Uh, I guess Maybe we're playing as a turtle mech player or something. He doesn't... Why does he have so many turrets? I actually have no, no idea what that's about. I imagine there's a tank down there, yeah. I can actually kill that. Oh no, guys. He, he, I don't know what he's doing. He has no units. How am I going to kill him on accident? Let me get this turret. It's actually really annoying. Wait, is that a tank? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know if he has another one down there. Let me check. Okay, there we go. I'm going to fly my factory. Yeah, I think I can just kill all of his buildings here. This is uh, some real game-ending damage. Oh, a battle cruiser. Okay. okay. Well, the battle cruiser is probably going to kill my marines, but I can do enough damage on it that it's annoying. Right, I'm going to have to back off from this. All right, so we're going to play against Battlecruiser Mech uh, with only Marines. Hmm. I think... Okay, so normally I would say it's going to be very difficult, but I feel like this damage was really good. I killed a bunch of SCVs. I killed one siege tank. And... I, I killed his barracks even. I mean, the barracks is the least important thing, but he won't be able to add factories. So that is really nice. Um, I'm not quite sure I can go on with my plan of killing him with... 150 marines though but, but marines are not that good against battle cruisers guys battle cruisers have a very high armor so if you have tanks with bcs they kind of shred marines i think I, well maybe i should keep my marines at home to deal with the bc i'm actually gonna make a third here in my mineral line as well um or in my production line rather and then i'm just gonna move out and i'm not gonna try to go in because that will probably be suicidal against tanks but i am going to try to deny his third base i feel like that's uh, probably the least thing I can do with this amount of pressure. And get two more barracks going up. And I mean, I could also go for a doom drop, right? Like, let's say I have 100 marines. He's really just sitting there on the siege tanks. I could always still go for a doom drop. Two battle cruisers. Okay, I mean, we knew that was coming, right? If you make one battle cruiser, you're probably going to make more. Let's see. He got that upgrade too. Oh my. Okay, this is actually. This guy is playing an insane style right here. Wait, I can actually. Are there units inside there? Probably not. There's, there's probably a tank on that. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, he amounted my medevac. Yeah, this is actually just going to be very inefficient. I think I'm actually just going to stick to my plan here. I'm going to make a million marines. And then see if I can make something happen with them. I'm actually considering... Oh, I should totally scout for hidden expansions, by the way. I um, If you play against people that play weird styles like this, especially in TVT, there's a decent chance they're building a random base somewhere. So uh, I probably should have checked a little bit faster. Oh, th this map actually has a... Um, uh, what is it called? They have like these rich gas bases on the right side. So if you play battle cruisers, I would definitely try to take those, right? So you could also have taken the gold here, of course. But if he takes the gold, we should be able to kill it relatively easily. So I'm not too worried about it. Unless he somehow made a factory there and has tanks next to it or something like this. Uh, I think we're going to be fine. I'm going to make some extra turrets just because with battle cruisers you usually do BC runbys. Or flybys, I guess I should say. How many marines do I have? Actually, not that many yet. I think I probably had about 50. Which is a pretty respectable marine count, uh, you could say. Normally you'd be very happy with it, but in this case I want more and more. Um, is he gonna take his third base yet? Oh, he does actually have it with a plan. Yeah, this is gonna be—it's gonna be really hard to break him, you know, with only marines. It's actually definitely a little bit of it. Does he have upgrades? No upgrades yet. Okay. So my two-two upgrades, I would say, are definitely gonna come into play here. Um, if if he would have armor upgrades on the battle cruisers, they would be way harder to kill. But for now, I think it's probably gonna be fine. Now, yeah, one thing I'm really afraid of—I would love to sacrifice my SCVs, by the way, so I can make more marines. But I'm just not convinced I can kill him in one big fight. You know, like tanks, planetaries and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure I can kill him. Um, so I'm not sure about sacrificing the SCVs. Maybe I'll just go for 100 marines then. J just just a casual 100 marines, you know. N not, nothing special, guys. Uh, with 2-2 as well. I think the timing is going to work out pretty nicely. You can see I'm almost maxed. Now, yeah, he's, yeah, he's actually just playing mass battlecruiser. Oof. 
this is actually an unexpected challenge, honestly, guys. I, th I thought TVT was going to be quite nice because everyone would just play Marine Tank. But I actually don't know if I can kill that many Battlecruisers with a few tanks behind with just Marines. That actually does sound very difficult. Like, if the tanks weren't there, it'd be fine, right? I mean, there's actually not a lot of tanks, yeah? There's w there's one tank there. I can probably bust down that PF re relatively fast, I want to say. Um, it's definitely not gonna die instantly but i should be able to burst it down like bcs are also not gonna kill my army super fast and i think i had a good early game i can't imagine that his supply is too high to be fair yeah i'm gonna keep these marines here so if he transitions or uh what do you call it moves these tanks i guess simply moves moves these tanks to the third base i can catch them now how many marines do i have is the question i have 121 army supply and I have 9 medevacs, which means I have 103 marines, if, if my math is correct. I'm actually pretty good at calculating, but sometimes when I'm uh, doing these videos, it's completely off and you guys make fun of me. So I just assume that it's off again. Uh, but I, I think it's about a, a 100 marines anyway, so that's good. But he's taking this base too. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen, no way. I'm, I'm so tempted to sacrifice my SCV. It's just, if I had a few more orbitals, I would, you know? Oh, this is gonna be a big fight. Okay, almost killed one BC. He wasn't quite able to get it. Let me just target this one. I mean, if he's fighting, he's fighting without his siege tanks, yeah? Without his siege tanks, I'm going to be totally fine. I mean, I definitely already lost like 30 Marines here, I want to say, or 20. So I'm going to fall back. Okay, guys, if he lets me get all these orbitals, I'm going to sacrifice my SCV so I can make more. But is actually, wait, that, that was the only siege tank? Maybe I can kill one of these BCs here. I can actually definitely go for this because his tank is exposed. There we go. I cannot kill these BCs yet. Yeah, I actually want to heal these up. You guys can see, it, sometimes it looks like the fight is going to be easy, but it's actually very difficult uh, to kill these, surprisingly. But yeah, I'm just going to heal them up. He, he, I'm actually very lucky he's just not making that many tanks. Like, he, he could have, if he had seven siege tanks, this would be impossible challenge, you know. But because he only has like one tank per base all the time, it really doesn't seem that bad. Now, how many SCVs am I going to give away? I mean, I could, actually, I don't need gas anymore, right? So I can, first of all, give all of my gas workers away. Uh, the only thing I need those for is uh, reactors, I guess, at this point, and medevacs. But yeah, I probably need to. I'll, I'll keep. Uh, I'll keep one gas mining. I guess that that sounds reasonable. Um, these guys are going to be sacrificed as well. Now, is it time to take this base again? Well, he's getting a little BC. I think it's actually time for me to go for this, guys. Um, I'm, I'm like, if, if he snowballs too hard, he gets too many battlecruisers. It's just going to be really hard to win. Oh, that's a Yamato. That's a dead battlecruiser. There we go. Yeah, can I attack the PF? I don't know. He has armor on the PF too, guys. This is... This is not an easy choice here to make. I'm going to make a few more medifacts. I just want him to Yamato me. It's, it's so hard to get these. It's actually insane. Okay, I'm going to lose these as well. Get a few more marines out. Probably get two more orbitals here. Okay. I mean, I guess we can always check in the replay how many marines I had. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No freaking way. Okay. Yeah, those four tanks, that, that means game over. I'm actually going to YOLO it. This is the time. I have no other opportunity, I think. There we go. We got the planetary fortress. Like, keep in mind, his stuff is very expensive. So, even if I lose a lot here, the trades could still be decent. Alright. <laughs> so silly. Oh, the tanks are here, yeah, but he... I actually need to heal these up. What's this upgrades now? Oh, I actually have 3-3 already. It's probably time to go here soon. I have 47... Oh my god, I have 150 army supply, guys. That's pretty really crazy. 150 army supply of pure marine medevac. Is it enough to break 10 BCs in 4 tanks? I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually not quite... Oh, it's 5 tanks now. No, not like this. I'm surprised he hasn't made a single sensor tower, by the way. Do you, th do you guys think he maybe took a hidden base, like, later? I'm gonna check. And then I'm gonna try to go in his natural. I could also kill these rocks really fast. No, I think that the natural is probably a better idea. Okay, I have so much money now, I'm gonna sacrifice even more SUVs. Yeah, this, this is the best play, for sure. Okay, he actually has nothing here, guys. This is big. Like, he's still gonna be able to bait me into his sea tanks. Which is uh, a problem. Okay. Let's kill these turrets. These turrets are actually hella annoying, dude. Like, actually. Oh, yes. Three sea tanks for free. That is huge, guys. Actually huge. Okay. 
Dude, I have so many Marines at this point. Another Yamato? Is that a dead BC? Yeah, he's getting my medivacs, which is really annoying. Oh, he's not paying attention? Another dead BC, maybe? Yeah, we got another one. Oh my god, there is so many Marines. Jesus, he's still doing a really good job, though, with the kiting. I think I need to run away from his BCs a little bit. Oh, here we go. Now I can go in. Probably kill a few of these. Oh my god, they're so hard to kill. <laughs> what on earth? There's no freaking way. Oh, he amato with those. Get those ones. This one too. Okay, that's another big one. Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't I didn't think he was going to leave there, to be honest. Because if you look at my money, guys. Uh, I have 137 supply. I actually did not have that much. So I was going to launch a bunch of meals. How many marines did we have in total, guys? Let's see. Because the first game we played in this entire show, we had 135 marines. But that was, you know, before we got to the higher leagues. This game, I had 132 marines. I think that's probably the highest I had, right? Because here I'm just going to lose a few. 132 marines, guys. And we beat Battlecruiser Mech with it. That is incredible. How many commands did I have? 10 orbitals. Yeah, it did work out pretty well. Uh, if my opponent didn't lose those three tanks, I, I really think we could have been in trouble. Maybe you guys don't see it. Maybe you do. I don't know. But this was really close to just being game over, I think, because I was almost out of money if he actually sieged the tanks properly. If he made one sensor tower, I always tell my students, make sensor towers. They're so good. If he had one sensor tower here and just moved these tanks appropriately, I don't know if we could have done much, but I'm very happy that we won this game. That's a cool record. 132 Marines against a high Masters player. Let's move on to game number two. All right, a Protoss player. Can we beat a Protoss with 132 Marines? Maybe. I think if we don't play against Colossus, then it's possible. If it's anything else than Colossus, then I, I'll probably start doubting myself a little bit. And with a little bit, I mean, I'm probably not going to win. But um, yeah, maybe if there's no Colossus, we could actually win with a million Marines. It is my goal to win with massive Marine counts for this episode, like I mentioned before. And we managed to do it in game one. So let's try it again here in game two. Now, I think I might actually go for the gases expand in this. Or I could open with a three racks. Um, the thing is with a three... Well... I mean, it's kind of a big map. Like, if I go for a 3 racks here, there's a decent chance it just feels really hard. And then you're just too far behind, I think. Because uh, my medivacs will be very late. I won't be able to do drops and stuff. So maybe 3 racks is not the best idea. Oh, he's going a very early uh, probe scout. He's one of those weird Protoss players that likes to torture Terrans. Well, I mean, a lot of people like to do that. But uh, not, not, with a, not with a fast probe scout like that. Um... This is the, this is the, I feel like SOS used to do. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Like, there were a few Korean Protoss players that just played, like, absolutely crazy styles, like Hero and SOS, who just, they wanted to mess you up from the start, and they would do something like this for a day. Uh, basically, you scout instantly at the start of the game. Now, I don't think it's particularly good, but it is particularly annoying, so, uh, you know, he can, he can put that card into his pocket. He has already annoyed us for... 2%. Now, he actually didn't harass with it very well, in all honesty. Sorry sorry for the honesty if you're watching this, but uh, he could have done a lot more damage than just attacking my SCV once and then running away, for sure. So, actually, he didn't annoy me that much, which is nice for us. Keep, keep the commentary in good spirits, you know. Now, I think I'm... Yeah, I'll make a depot first, actually. I feel like doing something really weird and just going across with, like, 10 stimulus marines. Oh, he's actually gonna lose the probe, too. That is nice. A little bit of a, you know, wrong decision by him. Could have saved that easily. And I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it's something, right? Oh, wait, actually... Didn't I SCV scout? I thought I... Huh. Did I maybe use my SCV scout to make this depot? Or something like this? I swear, I really tried to send out an SCV to scout. At least I was intending to. I'm not sure what happened to that. That's actually a little bit scary. Because now I have no idea if he even has an expansion or not. I mean, a lot of people play like this. Um, okay. There is something here. I will be able to out-micro this for sure, I think. There we go. Let's get a bunker down. There we go. No damage taken. That is nice. That's how you deal with a zealot, guys. Just just, just play like me, guys. It's easy, okay? Just just play like me. No, but uh, I don't think that was a proxy guy. I feel like a proxy guy would have hit faster. But um, I do always say my timings are not the best. Especially when I do builds that I don't usually do. I'm going to have to save that marine. It's a little bit of a micro battle here. There we go. Yeah, pull the weak marines back. And I'm gonna save them all, which is nice. I still have no idea what's going on, though. That scares me. Like, there could be a proxy Stargate out on the map. And, um... I, yeah, I simply would have no idea. Now, I do ha technically have the tools to deal with it. 
But, oh, he's actually gonna leave it there, I think. I think I saw his movement. Yeah, okay. He's still paying attention, though. Well done by him. I always try to test your opponent's multitasking, guys. If they leave an adept here and you have five marines, just try to poke at it now and then. See if he's actually gonna move it, you know. So, it's a good test. Now, I have nine marines. Okay. Oh, he actually is paying attention very well. Yeah, okay. Then I'll just uh, forget about my idea. I wanted to move out and uh, put some pressure on and stuff, but I think he's simply just too on top of things. So I'm gonna leave that idea for now. Just get my stim up. I still don't know what I'm trying to counter here. I definitely do not want to do a scan. Uh, scanning is just a little bit too expensive. I might make blind turrets though. Definitely a possibility here to make blind turrets. I'm gonna try to poke him again. They always make mistakes at some point, so... Okay. Okay. Still paying attention. I'm impressed, Mr. Protoss. It was a barcode, right? Yeah. I'm impressed, Mr. Barcode Protoss. Well done. Hat off to you. Um, yeah, he's, he's periodically checking if I'm moving out. I, I'm not, I hope he's macroing well behind this. I feel like there's definitely a chance he's just messing up the macro. Ah, there we go. Ah, no. Oh, I did make a little bit of a mistake, but not enough. You see, that's why I tested, guys. Slightly worse Protoss would have lost the Stalker instantly there. Um, and I guess now I'm just gonna go for a factory. I don't really like this build that much because I yeah, I really wanted to move out and do some damage early on right now. It feels like I simply aren't... I'm just not gonna have that much stuff later on, like my medivacs are late and stuff. Oh, ah, he took the gold base. Okay, okay, okay. If, if he didn't take the gold, he is doing like a one base colossus all in or whatever, so he, he must have the gold here. And I, I have to attack it. Like, I know my plan is to make mass marines. But if I let that gold base up for nothing, um, then it's just I'm just going to be in trouble, right? So I'm going to I'm gonna try to attack that gold base. I just hope he doesn't have Colossus. If he has Colossus and the gold base, uh, I'm just Omega oh, screwed. There's just no other way to put it. I guess technically you could also have one of them rich gas bases. But that makes a lot less sense than the gold, I want to say. Gold base is definitely a lot more valuable. So I'm just gonna go straight down here. If he's not here, I would be surprised. I haven't seen any units, so maybe he is indeed not there. He's actually he's doing a one base charge all in. I'm having a hard time believing this is one base. Wait, why is he coming here? Oh, okay, close it. There we go. You guys go to the goal. Wait, is that a DT? Why does he have why did he not use the DTs at all? This is weird. Okay, the whole position is gonna be huge here. Focus fire, one Archon. Kill the workers or kill the zealots one by one and then kill the other Archon. And that should be a really easy... I'm really puzzled as to what this build is supposed to be, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. A, a fi oh. Guys, this is... Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna say it, guys. We've played against a lot of builds. This is the worst build I have ever seen. Uh, like, I, I didn't even notice it was going on. I didn't scout. I had all my marines at the gold. And it still had no hope of working. What on earth was this? Guys, look at the supply. Nothing has happened in this game. He, he lost a zealot and a probe. That's all. That, look at like this is actually the worst optimized build of all time. I think like this is just <laughs> this, I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Well, well, he also has like no vision. He's just like randomly attacking. He's I'm making a third base in his face against his one base solid completely unintentional. I just thought he had the gold and his army is so small. I have 28 marines and he has nine zealots and two arcas and one DT. Uh, all right. Well, if you ever watch this Protoss. Um, no disrespect, just never do this build again, okay? I, I hope your friend invented this, maybe you let your little brother play or, or something, but let's never do this build again. And for us, I guess that's some nice LMR. Let's move on to game number three. Oh, and we have gotten promoted to Masters too, guys. That is fantastic. That means there's only one division between us and Grandmaster, and that is Masters 1. Let's go. All right, our first Grandmaster. All right, guys, there we go. Acheron, Acheron, not sure how to say that. But that is our first Grandmaster opponent in the show. It's going really fast. This is like... What is this? Episode 4? This is episode 4, guys. We're playing our first Grandmaster. That is incredible. Now, I would love to win with the Mass Marine stuff again. It's definitely going to be harder to do on this map. Because um, it, it's just a little bit more close. It's a little bit smaller. So tank pushes are strong. It's like a lot of like, you know, these bridges where you can't run across with tanks and stuff. Because it's too, you know, clumped up. Uh, but I'm still going to try it because it's fun. Now, last game, you know, I, you know, I, I would have loved to win with Mass Marines, but what that guy did, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't really allow me to play Mass I mean, I did play Mass Marines, but not quite Mass Mass Marines. You know, I didn't get 132 Marines. Now, if I could break that record in this game, that would be freaking awesome. Uh, what was the build? Actually, I'm just going to go Gases Expand here as well. 
Let's try if it actually works against Terran. Why not? This team is LTK. I think it's actually a pretty good team. I think they played in the uh, World Team League recently as well. Made it to Kode. Definitely not a, not a bad team. Oh, sh yeah, I'm never going to SCV scout. Uh, as, you know, Gas's Expand could actually be good against Proxy Reaper in some scenarios. If you scout it early and you get bunkers up and you make Marines instantly. And you kill like the first Reaper, for example. It could oh, I actually forgot to expand there. Just going to build it on the high ground then. You could actually kill Proxy Reaper right from the start. But at the same time, I'm never going to have more production than... You know, one Rax Marine. I'm never going to get my factory up or anything like that. So if they ever snowball, get past the bunker behind the mineral line, it usually just lights out. So, uh, you know, probably hope we don't play against it. Okay, there we go. Normal barracks being built. Looks like a... Wait, where's the... Hello? I think you're forgetting an orbital. No, he's proxying a barracks. Or oh, he's building... What is he doing? He's, he's proxying two barracks, probably. Um... Okay, what, what am I even supposed to do against this, though? Yeah, he's proxying multiple barracks. Unless this is such a good skin that I can't tell uh, that it's an orbital. Okay, huh. Yeah, I'm making a second barracks here. This is Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, guys. On this map, you need a lot of bunkers to cover all the space, I think. Ooh, how am I going to defend this? I'm actually just going to make a million bunkers, I think. I feel like there's no other option. It's not like I'm making any marines. It would be sick if he's doing like the best fake ever and he did like some really weird expand before orbital build. And now I'm just absolutely screwed because I'm making three bunkers. But I have to trust my gut here and this is uh, what my gut is telling me that's happening. Or well, it's not really my gut, it's more my brain that's telling me this guy's absolutely nothing, you know, please uh, defend yourself. Uh, but I guess we'll see. I'm gonna make a third barracks too. I mean, I already have my own orbital up, so probably shouldn't be too worried about anything really. Like, to me, it looks like he has two barracks proxy, then it's like a 3 rex Reaper. That's that's what it looks like to me. Um, there we go. And it is a 3 rex Reaper. Okay, too bad I only have one bunker in that. Okay, this actually should be pretty easy to defend, I think, because I have five Marines here. Like, it's too many Marines, I believe. There we go. Yeah. Can I kill all of them? Okay, I killed literally all of them. Yeah, that is it. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, I swear, I'm not trying to make these games this short, but dear, these guys are just doing cheeses. I think this person, if you guys ever want to do this cheese, if you want tips for this build, you need to wall off uh, if you want to do this. Because here, the, 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 you know, the lack of orbital makes you just too obvious. If you want to do this, you have to really bite the bullet, get even less economy, wall off fast, and then do this, and then... I would have died to this, because if I see a fast wall-off, I'm not going to expect that it's such a drastic cheese. I would never make three bunkers. But he let me get the scout, and that's why I won, so you really have to hide your stuff. Anyway, I guess that's a short game. Let's move on to game number four. Wait, what? A double promo? Wait, how is that even possible? Did we just get promoted twice in two games? Or maybe it was three games, I'm not sure. Uh, we went from Masters 3 to Masters 2, the Masters 1 on 1 episode. I guess we're almost Grandmaster, guys. Let's do it. A few more 100 MMR. Let's go. All right, so we got fear again. Oof, that is actually scary, guys. The rematches. Oh, and this guy is, a, is the Turtle Mac player too, right? From the first game. This could potentially be our first loss. This is going to be very hard to navigate. I'm mean, going to actually have to go a little bit more aggressive than I have been. You know, I have to admit, guys, I've been a bit disappointed because I was promised if I play on the NA server, I would get a crazy amount of salt. I don't think I've gotten... And I know it's only four episodes, but I don't think we've gotten salt yet, right? Maybe like once. I'm not sure though. I don't remember getting salt. So I'm a little bit sad we haven't gotten our promised salt. But then again, too much salt is also bad for you. So, you know, maybe it's for the better. Now, how am I going to deal with someone that knows my strategy exactly? Because, you know, I, let's be honest, guys. I'm not being very discreet about it. You know, my name is Tim Amove and I made 200 or I made 132 Marines and Amove him. So I think he probably has an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm somehow going to have to navigate his counter, which is very difficult. Now this game I'm gonna make a gas, maybe switch it up, up a little bit. Um, I did I did actually like the gases expand though, like it was actually pretty sweet. So I'll probably do that again in the future, but trying some reactor first stuff and things is also pretty cool. Now is my SCV gonna arrive in time for me to reactively make a reactor? It's actually gonna be close, but I would say barely not. Yeah, it is actually gonna be quite close, I can't actually tell right now. There's an SCV in my base, is it gonna attack me? No. Let's see. Three seconds. Uh, I think I'll just make a marine first then. I can't quite see if he has something at home. I think he does, but I think I'll just play marine reactor instead. Let's see. Okay, he's actually making a... Oh, he has, actually has a lot of gas mined. 
Wait, he's doing a crazy build again. Guy, this this guy has some sick builds. This is this is actually a sick bait. He took the, he took this gas quite fast. Uh, but in the other game, he went for a gas's expand. So he's definitely like trying some mind games. Um, at least I would think. I, I feel like pl players that play like that are gonna play the same stuff. And for that reason, I think he's probably playing a bit mind gamey because someone that plays that style probably knows how to do it with a bunch of different openers. If this was anyone else, I would probably think it's pretty standard what he's doing, right? But uh, I, uh, for some reason, I just don't trust this guy. I think he's going to show us something cool. I just have a feeling. I hope it's not something generic, then I would look a little bit silly. But trust, guys. I have a feeling he's going to show us something cool. Oh, this shit. It's actually a little bit rough. Oh, the SUV. Punch it. The surround. The surround. Please, SUV, hit it. Be faster than that. Okay. Come on, SUV. You can do it, buddy. Okay, watch this. He's never gonna expect this move. Watch this. He's not paying attention. Ah! No, what? One HP, literally. No way, guys. Oh man, that is rough. All right. That, that's that's a good reactive move by him to send um, the Reaper across. At least I think he saw my reactor. I'm not 100 sure. M maybe. Wait, I did Marine reactor in the first game too. So if he reactively made a Reaper and sent it across because of that, that's actually a great move. Because, yeah, one Marine can't beat a Reaper, not even if you're going up a ramp or something like that. Like, the Marine uh, just lacks a little bit of damage and HP to, to win that fight, so... Um, oh, I did actually play three racks instead of going for a factory. That could be scary later on. But I am going to get more Marines out than previously, so that could potentially be good. Guess I'll just get the factory now. Have a few Marines up here. And yeah, that's also one thing that's really scary with Marine uh, Marina only to Grandmaster or Marine Medivac is that you um, you never get to scout, you know. Like, I, I can only scout by scanning, and scanning is too expensive because then I don't have mules, so I don't want to do that. I only do it in crazy situations. Uh, kind of like that Protoss game, you know, where I, I scanned his natural to see what he was doing and then he wasn't there. Now, that was a crazy enough situation for me uh, to warrant scanning, but normally, not a huge fan. So yeah, here he's going to see I'm doing the exact same strategy. Well, actually not the exact same, but I kind of doubt he's going to see the difference because I don't think he scanned last game that we played. And he probably just saw Mass Marines with Stim. So this just looks like it's Mass Marines with Stim, right? Now, if he's doing the best counter to me possible, he's going to play 1-1-1 with Banshees and Siege Tanks. That build is technically unstoppable for me. But, I don't know, with some micro here and there, it might be possible. But uh, that would definitely be the hardest counter. A any kind of tank push in general would be very strong. Okay, the Hellions, actually not that great of a counter. So that is uh, pretty decent for us here. And the only reason it's not that great of a counter is because I have a ramp on this map. Um, and I will be able to micro against those decently. Oh, actually, good targeting by him, though. have to give him that. I'm going to save a decent amount of these, but still, pretty good for me. Oh, well, actually, I wouldn't say it was good. I think it's it's actually good for him. But it was... At some point, it looked like it could have been worse when he actually dove in. And I, th I thought it was going to be easier. I was a little bit overconfident there, but his micro was really good. So, uh, kudos to him. He actually got a really big target fire here on SCVs. And I, I mostly feel like I'm in a rough spot because my supply looks low. It, it's really funny how uh, instinctive all this is. Because I've, I've played so many games of StarCraft that I don't even know how many workers I'm supposed to have at this point. But my supply just looks low to me uh, and that's why i think i might be in a little bit of trouble otherwise i i really wouldn't know how many scvs you're supposed to have at 525 it's probably more than 36 though that's 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 all i can say i'm finally gonna get my medevacs out probably gonna make my third base on location here seems like a good way to continue this game there we go um yeah i, I feel i mean i could scan his natural to see if i can go in but i think realistically there's absolutely no chance uh it is undefended Let's see, anyway. Maybe, maybe... Oh, wait. Oh, he's playing Blue Flame. Oh, guys. This is actually huge. Th that build is not going to be too efficient. No way. Siege tanks, my man. Where are the siege tanks at? Right now, I don't think I want to go up that ramp. Yeah, exactly. There's two more Hellions coming out. Maybe some good micro. I could take a decent trade here. There we go. Oh, I can kill that Hellion, I think. Yeah, okay. I mean, he could kill my Marines, but that was uh, still really good for us. We killed a bunch of SCVs. And that is really nice. Now, he's, he's going to make mass Hellions, I guess. In that case, maybe it was pretty good for me that he sacrificed. Oh, never mind. It's Hellion Battlecruiser. Okay, that's... Oh, that is... I didn't even consider the fact that he also... I was wondering why he had so few Hellions there. Um, I was going to say it might be good for me that he sacrificed his Hellions because now he doesn't have as many to snowball with. 
Both heli and BC. That sounds like a rough one, guys. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited for this. This guy has really cool counters and really different cool strategies. So I guess we're going to see if it works out for him. Right now, I'm definitely still scared. I, I might benefit from actually hitting a timing before getting mass marines. Um... I feel, like, I feel like the BCs might be a little bit too strong if I just let him get away with this, pretty much. Oh, I did make a turret here. I thought I had one. Turret's actually really good against battle cruisers, by the way, so uh, you kind of need to make those. I mean, you could, you could always still be making tanks. Let's see. Oh, he has no tanks. Okay, this is a crazy fight. I I'm going to bait him out. Yes, there you go. Okay. Oh, the, wait, the BC actually took a lot of damage. Hellbats? Why are you making hellbats? No, you're so silly. Marines counter helmets. What are you doing? You silly goose. No way he did that. That is insanity. This was gonna be such a good fight for him, but then he made helmets. Oh no, I feel so bad for him right now. That one decision is costing him everything here. Oh no, fear. What have you done? That was so many freaking SUVs going down. Yikes. Did the, hel the helis were gonna be so good. Why did he do that? I mean, I I'm, I'm his opponent, but I'm actually like... Oh, cringing a little bit, you know, because why? It was looking so good for him and then he did that. I feel like if I saw one of my students do that, I'd be sad. Maybe that's why, you know? Uh, <laughs> that was, yeah, it's a little bit of an unfortunate moment for him there. Now, I guess now, we have gotten ourselves into a position. And he has tanks too, by the way. Tanks in BC, so I won't be able to push as hard. Now, wait, why, why, why am I mining from this gas? I, I don't need that gas at all. Now I'm in a position where I could try to go for the, the mass marine count again. Because I did, you know, uh, how do you say that? I st I stopped this economy a little bit. And I think... Um, ooh, if he's going for that, I could also drop in his bay. I think I just want to hunt the BCs, though. Yeah, I uh, stunted... I, I don't know how to say it. Uh, I hindered... I That's a Dutch word, I think. Uh, I actually don't know. But I annoy this economy. I'm just going to put it that way. I know that's not the right way to put it. but I, I annoy this economy enough that I can now go for mass marines freely and actually have a chance. At winning, I think. There we go. Wait, what is Yamato-ing? Attack lab. Oh, that's actually pretty nice because I'm, I'm only making marines. So I, I literally don't need that. I guess I'll make a reactor instead. Now I don't have to li lift my barracks anymore, guys. That's fantastic. Let's see, get some damage on these. No no upgrades yet. That is good. And I have 1-1. One, one. You could Yamato the meta. The medivacs are really good targets for Yamato. Oh, no. Crap, I need to run away with these and I hope he doesn't micro them super well. Let's block it. Ah, oh, there we go. Decent by him though. Yeah, oh, this is a really good move by him, guys. He's playing this very well. Oh, this one third can actually be repaired. That's nice. That third is doing fantastic. Okay, well, we survived. But that, yeah, that was well played by him. Uh, I guess I should wall this off a little bit better. Maybe like that. Get a depot in here too. And then uh, we'll see. Uh, I did. I don't know how many SCVs I lost, but I don't think it was that many. Somehow. It really looked like I was going to lose a billion SCVs there, but in the end, it was not that many. Now, I have I have more than enough medevacs. I should probably stop making them at this point. Let's get some in here. I really don't need to mine these natural gases at all, I think. Um, like, I need to make my 3-3 and I need to make medevacs, and that's all I need to make when it comes to gas from this point on. So, yeah, he has his third base already. He got upgrades faster this game. So that's another adaptation he did. Um, I, since he's making Hellions, I should probably make that a planetary... Now, normally I wouldn't against Mech, but now I think I could use a planetary fortress. I'm going to try to move around the map a little bit here. Um, I have actually an absurd amount of medevacs. It's actually just a little bit too much. Now, I would like to prevent him from taking a fourth base at least, but that's going to be pretty difficult. Let's see. Tutu is almost going to finish. Maybe get like a wall off here so he can't go behind the mineral line. Wait, oh, for a second I thought this was a cycle, and I was like, wait, why do I see that in the Fog of War? It really does look like a cycle a little bit. Yeah, he got building armor again, too. You know, th this guy is really, uh, really bringing the challenge here with his style of, of playing. I also really like the way he's microing this. Like, he keeps attacking with Hellions and then backing off and going in again. And the reason is that if you move your Marines like this, they're gonna keep clumping up. So he, he's basically forcing my marines to clump by running away and going in again. So he he really knows what he's doing when it comes to the micro, and I appreciate that. Needs to run away from that, though. Yeah, okay, that was a perfect fight for us. Just as I was praising him, he had to mess it up. God damn it, fear. Why? Why would you do that to me? Now, he still has a million BCs. How many orbitals do I need? I think I need at least... 
10 to sacrifice my SCVs, like, you know, to really mimic like a pro like 10 SCV, 10 orbitals is 10 mules. I think mules are about three and a half SCVs, so I would have, you know, 35 SCVs mining. Maybe with like 30 SCVs alive, it's really not that bad, and then I can have 170 army supply. That sounds pretty decent to me. I'm just gonna keep adding these. Ooh, one tank only. Tutu is finished. Sign me up for this one. Watch this. This is gonna be nice. Oh no. He actually had one Hellion. I was gonna let him. Uh... Wait, is he gonna stay here? He's gonna lose his BCs. Yeah, I got one. All right, perfect. And he lost that stuff there. All right, nice. Now I definitely can't push into those three tanks, but uh, definitely taking really good trades here once again. Now, how many orbitals do I have? I have one planetary, which means that I need 11 command centers. I think I'm almost there, actually. See, is that it? Is this 11? Yeah, that is 11. Okay, so we're going to have 11. And at some point, we're going to be able to sack our SEVs. Now, let's see if he's taking the base on this side. I, mean, I have 109 army supply. 9 medivacs is 18 supply. So, we're, you know, we're getting there. We're not quite at 100 marines yet, but we're getting there. Wait, I can actually get medevac armor. Oh, yes, another base. Perfect. I feel like we're playing this, this game uh, better than the other one, to be honest. Or maybe maybe we're not playing better, but we're just getting more opportunities, which is nice. Yeah, I can actually sacrifice all of these SCVs, I think. Maybe the... Okay, I'm actually going a little bit crazy, but I'm actually going to sacrifice all of these. Let's go. And I have a few too many here, too. Uh, Wait, I have 14 here. No, I should probably keep these. Yeah, if I split these, then I'll have about 30 SCVs. And uh, my army should be able to reach 170 supply. There we go. <laughs> I, I, I must be confused. Like, why would someone sacrifice marines if they're playing bio? Oh, he actually has a lot of tanks here, guys. I'm actually going to try to take a fight here quickly. So I can just get rid of a few siege tanks, basically. Before the planetary is done. Oh, the planetary is finished. Okay, I'm out. Oh my god, I lost like 90 supply there. Holy crap. I'm going to need some mules up in here. There we go. That's the whole point of my strategy. Uh, 35 SUVs. So yeah, I should be able to get 165 army supply. I have 11 medevac, so we would have more marines than before. But yeah, it's so hard to trade into those things. You could see it there. I might actually have to do like a hundred marine drop in his main, which sounds really silly, but it might actually be what we have to do. Drop some. Should I scan here? Oh, there's actually nothing here. This is a killable base. Let's go for this base then. Should be a really good move here. Deny the economy. Yeah, perfect. Okay. He didn't actually respond to this, so that does lead me to believe he was doing something else. Oh, we can actually get this tank as well. That is really nice. There we go. And now we back off. Let's upgrade some of the BCs. Two armor. So I guess he has 2-2 two, two at this point. Um, which does make his marines quite strong. I'm only making more medevacs now because I might be forced to do that insane marine drop into the main. You can see how much money the mules are bringing in. Like, I basically just have a normal economy with these 10 orbitals and 35 SCVs. Now, I should probably leave a marine there. So I can actually um, see if he's taking that base, right? So another orbital going. Got some more mules here. Oh, actually, a little bit of miss mining there. Let's see what he has. Okay, I, I would like to go again. But just to kill the siege tanks here. You kill that one, you kill this one. And there we go. Three siege tanks dead. I know it doesn't look like the best trade, but I feel like I just need to try and keep his tank count low. Ooh, those are more marines there. Get away from me. He wants the amount of my medevacs. Get off of me. Now, we haven't uh, broken my record yet. I think I think if I max out now, I will break it, but I want to keep doing damage at the same time, you know? That's a little bit of a hard uh, position here. I'm going to take one more gas. You can see, he's, he's putting siege tanks there. I'm still surprised there's not... He, made, he did make a sensor tower this time, but it's still not on the left side, surprisingly. Let's make a few um, turrets on this base so it doesn't die for free. Let's see. Okay, he's, he's mining from this... He has a lot of orbitals or he didn't macro. I'm kind of... I'm not going to lie. No disrespect. Kind of leaning towards the second option there. Uh, because I do feel like I did a lot of uh, damage here. Let's see. Okay, we're at 200 supply, 165 supply. We have, oh, we actually have a lot of medevacs. I have 18 medevacs, 36. So I didn't quite uh, get 140 marines. I guess I need to sacrifice a few of these medevacs for it then. I'll sacrifice the low HP one, so he's like, huh? Wait, actually, I can use this as distraction. 
Okay, we're gonna use those as distraction. Okay, I'm, I, it's kind of hard to click on all these meta. There's probably a few more here that have nothing in them. Okay, uh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Talk about a freaking doom drop, guys. Okay. Now, if, if these die... Ooh, I'm gonna lose some SCVs here. That's fine. Okay. I'm gonna put these here. And then we we'll go into the main. And now... Okay. Oh, actually... I, oh my god, this is... Okay, are you ready for this? This is insanity. Oh my goodness, what is... What is going on here, guys? <laughs> This is a fucking strategy, okay? Holy crap, we actually got all of the sea snakes with that. Almost all of them. Sick. That was like seven tanks going down. Nice. He was like, I listened to you. You told me to make sea snakes. I was like, yep. That's what happens. How many medivacs do I have? Now I have 11 medivacs left. So now we're going to try and max out again. I'm actually going to make two more orbitals here. Um, oh, that's misplaced, right? Yeah, misplaced a little bit. Two more orbitals. Oh, I need to launch my mules. I'm gonna run out of money pretty soon. Let's drop meals there too. I mean, getting those things really set him back, I think. So that's that's really nice for us. See, there's no base here. Oh, he actually moved all of his tanks. That is really... Or, well, maybe he doesn't have any. Uh, that is more likely, actually. I guess he doesn't have any siege tanks. <laughs> there we go. This is more than enough marines to kill that. So that's really nice. Dude, the turrets are actually hella annoying, actually. Oh, no. That's too many tanks. I gotta back off from this. There we go. Alright. Please don't jam out on my medivacs again. I would like to keep those. Oh, he teleported somewhere. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, it's annoying. Is it the end of the world, though? I, I, I don't think so. But maybe I'm wrong. I got a, oh, I got a really nice surround there, actually. Can I, can I kill one of these? Dude, they're so hard to kill. Oh my goodness, dude. Die already. Yeah, these three-hour BCs, they really don't die to Marines at all. That's crazy. Okay. I mean, I still have enough Marines here. I mean, yeah, clearly I have enough Marines. <laughs> I have a crap ton of Marines still. Can I kill this one, please? Oh, so close. Okay. Just drop some more mules on these actual bases. Like, these bases here don't matter that much anymore, right? So, I guess I'll just, uh, yeah, keep dropping mules. 155 supply I have right now, in terms of army at least. Come here with these BC. Yeah, this, this is really annoying here. It's just going back and forth. I'm going to drop these back in the main so I can actually deal with it appropriately. I think I, at some point I'm just going to bust him though. I have 166 supply. I think I might be time to... Here we go. Ah, I, I just showed myself too fast. That's a mistake. All right, it's time, guys. The Mass Marine Ultimate A move. To the middle. Is it possible? Let's see what he has. Oh, there's actually nothing there. They must be in one of his bases. How many Marines do I have? I don't feel like calculating right now. Let's see. What is this? 30 medivacs, 26. I have 140 marines, guys. We have actually done it. And all of his units are there on the top. Funny enough. Let's see. Wait, I can actually... I can go to the natural, guys. With 140 marines. Oh my goodness. That is so many marines. That is insane. I, I don't think I've ever had this many marines, actually. Look at the damage output on these. Holy crap. He's gonna lose his entire base, actually. Probably make some turrets, just in case. Make it a little bit easier to deal with battle cruisers. He actually is flying everything away. Oh! These BCs are all gonna die! Triple BC kill! Yes! Let's freaking go, guys. That is beautiful. And I think we have done it with this finishing move. Dumb cheese? I'm maxed out! What do you mean I'm cheesing? You're the one playing mech BC. Well, actually, I do like his style. It was pretty cool. Um, not bad. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's probably not that fun to play against every game, but for this, it was really funny. Let's see. It says I have 136 marines. Uh, so I guess I miscalculated a little bit. Oh, I had 15 medivacs. Oh, wait. Two were in production, I guess. They probably just finished. As I yeah, okay. Two medivacs. So I had 136. That is still the record, so that's fantastic. And we won two games against a turtle mech BC player with mass marines, which I think is actually sick. We beat the record. We're almost grandmasters too, guys. It's just incredible. Anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Oh, wait, actually, let me look at the units lost. Ah, it's even. Okay, I, I was just gonna share. This, I was just gonna share. This could have been really cool. It's exactly even almost, which is sick. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.